Sam Rosen with Compensation Solutions, and I do business development, underwriting, prospecting, sales, closing. I thought it was uh, it was good. A um, lot of interesting stuff, very very thorough, and uh, picked up a couple of things that I think are helpful. Awesome. Um, do you do this type of training a lot, or, or no? I actually don't usually do a lot of training. Um, you know, a contact uh, suggested I come check it out. Um, so no, I mean we do a lot of training actually in house. Um, CEO of our company is very hands on with sales training, and so we do a lot of stuff like that. But as far as external sales training, I don't do a lot of it. But it, it's good to hear a fresh perspective, a different way of thinking, kind of an outside perspective that applies to all businesses as opposed to specifically to ours. I think it's helpful. We we have a very difficult sales process. Um, we do human resource outsourcing, asking people to turn over basically everything that they do with their employees over to us, whether it's payroll benefits, retirement planning, all that stuff, we ask them to turn over to us. This is a very long sales process and you need to build a trusted relationship. And so it's pretty difficult. So this type of training can help shorten the sales cycle and, and convince people to have that trust in, in us. It's very important to us. I think um, the one main thing I took away was that millionaire attitude. Um, you know, not everyone is a fit for our business and it's okay to say no and because it's not worth your time. And I think that's something that I find myself at least getting, you know, Pulled, it, pulled behind a little bit is, you know, someone calls me says, we're interested in your services and I want to help them. And a lot of times it's not a good fit, but I keep going for it because they called me that they're interested. Why would I turn it away? But I think that kind of attitude is going to help us spend more time with the prospects that are more likely to actually engage our services. You don't have to say yes just because you're on camera, but would you recommend this to, to someone, a friend? Um, I think I would um, if they're mindset is kind of in that higher level kind of space. I think if someone's just uh, a cold caller or a prospector, um, you know, for a very simple product or something, this might be a little too dense and overwhelming, but uh, for a service like ours with a long sales cycle and, and a lot of moving parts, it probably is pretty helpful. Awesome. So let's say someone like you, mm -hmm. a month from now, whenever he's doing the next one, he's thinking about coming to this, mm -hmm. but is on the fence. What would you, what would you say as well? I guess uh, the easiest thing to say is <laughs> you wouldn't how much you have to lose. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, it, it is a long presentation and you're not going to absorb and get all of it, but you'll walk away with a couple of things here and there that you'll pick up that I think you'll use and find helpful. I think, uh, I think he's engaging, good speaker. Um, probably, I'm personally not a big fan of PowerPoint presentations. I just yeah. find them like... Everyone does them, and there's a million things on the pages. So, yeah, just for me personally, maybe a little less with the dense PowerPoint slides. But uh -huh. I think I think it was a good presentation. Certainly, every once in a while, thrown in the stuff with the chickens and stuff like that to make you laugh and get you back engaged is, is good too.